All right, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today, another exciting episode for you that you're gonna wanna tune into. I mean, literally, it's taken me 20 years to make this episode. This is my 20th year living on a plant-based, raw fruit and vegetable-based diet, like 99.999%. And this is a topic that I wanna cover for you guys because it's very important. Whether you're researching the raw foods diet or already doing it, you know, I want to let you guys know why I exactly believe that it works. And it's not just as simple as the food is not cooked. I mean. When I learned about raw foods over 20 years ago now, you know, I was taught a few things like the reasons why we should eat raw foods are number one is because cooking destroys the enzymes and we need enzymes in the food to help digest food. So, I mean, some of the things I've learned 20 years ago, science, technology and information has changed a little bit and what I know and what we've discovered has changed and I may think a little bit differently than what I believed before. So, I mean, in my opinion, the truth of the matter is, you know, while there are more enzymes in the food, that's not necessarily the main reason for eating raw foods is that there's enzymes in the food. We can make our own enzymes, and people will say, oh, enzymes make no difference whether we eat them or not. Well, I mean, there's therapies known as enzyme therapy where they, you know, have healed people with different conditions through massive intake of oral enzymes. So, anyways, I think it is a factor but not the most important factor. Another factor that's given why, you know, we should eat raw is because cooking destroys nutrients. And some books in the day when I started my raw foods diet ended every chapter with the word, cooked food is poison. Now, <laughs> you could believe the rhetoric, believe dogma if you'd like. I don't wanna be that, I wanna be like a realist and while I don't necessarily believe that all cooked food is poison, there are plenty of cooked foods, you know, that can be poisonous and detrimental to your health. But on the flip side, I've also learned there are plenty of foods, if cooked properly, like whole plant foods, like steamed, boiling, maybe pressure cooked, are actually beneficial because cooking does break down like cell walls and it does denature plant toxins and make some nutrients more available. Now, yes, while it does do that to some, you know, it still destroys a lot of nutrients. So I think that every person has to weigh out for themselves the, the benefits and the costs of whatever they do in their life, you know, whether that's cooking their food or going out with somebody that's cheated before, a known cheater, right? Because that's, that's hazardous in my opinion, because if once a cheater, always a cheater, but that's not always the case either. Anyways, uh, so the next reason why I was taught that cooked foods is not good is because leukocytosis. And what is leukocytosis and why is it important? So leukocytosis, and this is why actually I got into raw foods and why I was super motivated to stay all raw for all these years is because I learned that when you eat cooked foods, things have been cooked, it causes leukocytosis. And I was just basically relaying the gospel of what I learned, you know, when I got into it, you know, what I read in books and I would just learn that, spit it back out, but then without really investigating. Well, there's been some new research and new investigation done by some long-term raw foodists out there. And I learned that actually not all cooked foods causes leukocytosis. Even cooked vegan foods does not cause leukocytosis. So that's not a reason to become a raw foodist. Now, does that mean I'm just not gonna be raw anymore <laughs> because it doesn't cause leukocytosis. Well, no, there's still definite benefits to eating raw foods and I'm gonna get into that in just a little bit. But what we learned uh, recently is that only animal foods causes leukocytosis. Even the crappiest vegan cookie that's totally not healthy but plant-based doesn't cause leukocytosis. So leukocytosis is definitely a reason to not eat any animal products, any animal meat, dairy, eggs, cheese, all that stuff. So yeah, that will cause leukocytosis in your body. Plant foods will not, even if cooked. So yeah, I mean, the main reason, it's like if you got a house and it's being held up on the foundation by one brick because there's like a, 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 like a mountain and you pull out the brick and the whole house tumbles down. <laughs> like that's what the, like the whole house tumbled down after I learned that. I'm like, oh my God, I've eaten the raw food all these years and I could have did that because you know, for those of you guys that don't know me, I had actually had a chronic health condition, almost lost my life 
due to spinal meningitis, which was caused by complement immune deficiency, which was basically a chronically weak and depressed immune system. So I didn't want to do things to my immune system to cause it to be more depressed, like eating cooked foods, which activates your immune system every time. And it's like, to me, it's like the boy who cried wolf. You're always activating your immune system, but you're just trying to eat your food. And that's not a good thing because your immune system should be there, be ready, be responsive when there actually is a foreign invader that you do and will need it to attack. So yeah, I was quite uh, dis disenchanted a little bit, you know, finding about that. But there's many other reasons for raw foods that I'll get into in a minute. And another reason why I was given, you know, when I got into raw foods is that no other animal eats cooked food, so why should we? And I mean, this is a argument, uh, how good of an argument is it, you know, that's debatable. I mean, while every other animal and creature on the planet eats raw foods, which is totally true, you know, we've evolved and some people say and i tend to believe this that we didn't evolve because we started eating meat and animal products no 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 we evolved because we started cooking our foods and and we were able to eat more calorically dense foods like you know carbohydrate rich foods and that's what i believe so yeah so i, I believe that's true to a point but you could take it too far and get too extreme right and it's true that all animals eat raw foods and that I believe everybody's diet on the planet should be a good percentage of raw foods. Do I think that everybody on the planet should eat raw foods? I'd say probably not, then I have reasons for this. But let's go ahead and get into the reasons why you should eat more raw foods, if not almost all raw foods, in your diet. And these are the reasons why they work. And even if you don't do all these reasons, you should just do as many of these guys as you can because these are all the reasons, in my opinion, why raw foods works. And it's not just like any one reason. Raw foods works because it's all raw. I mean, that's, uh, anyways, let's just move on, all right? So here are the reasons why raw food works, okay? Reason number one, because a plant-based raw food diet is better than what you were previously eating. Yeah, I mean, most people come from a standard American diet, even a junk food vegan diet, to a raw food, whole food diet. Major improvements. And because the main reason about this is because it's what you're not eating, <laughs> you know, what you're not eating. And no matter what kind of dietary changes, if you go paleo, you go this, you go whatever the name you want to put on your diet, right? You're generally going to be improving your diet. I mean, if you're going raw vegan to paleo, that's not an improvement. But if you're going standard American to paleo, at least hopefully you're going to be eating way more fruits and vegetables, right? So it's what you're not eating that's important and that you're moving in a better direction. And that's one of the reasons why the raw food diet works. Number two reason why the raw food diet works, in my opinion, and this is a very important one, is because it's a plant-based diet. It's a vegan diet, right? And you're eating copious amounts of plant foods without the animal foods, which in my opinion are not so healthy for us. Check the video down below or I'll put a link up here, right over there, right over here, <laughs> to a video, 10 reasons why I don't eat meat. I mean, this is all backed by scientific studies. So yeah, plant foods, they're some of the best foods on the planet, in my opinion. Third reason why the raw food diet works so well is because people who are into raw foods generally also get into eating organic foods. And when you're eating organic foods, you're lowering the amount of pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides um, that are on the food you're eating. Plus, in most cases, but not all, the nutrition in the foods is actually higher. So this is another huge benefit of eating a raw foods diet. Reason number four why the raw food diet works is because you're eating a whole food based diet, right? I mean, just going from, you know, cooked processed vegan to a whole food vegan, that's huge. And if you eat raw plant food, whole vegan, it's even better in my opinion. And this is where we should all be. I mean, industry and companies that make profit off you guys, they want to process the food so that it'll sit on the store shelf for days, years, months, you know, and last forever, literally. And this is when you do that you lose nutrients in the food so you know eating a whole food plant-based diet you're gonna get more benefits and by minimally processing these things yourself such as making your own fresh juice like I did this morning made a pineapple pomegranate juice instead of buying like a palm juice that's been pasteurized packaged in the bottle you know it's gonna be way better so you know a raw food diet a healthy raw food diet should also be a whole food centered diet. No, nope, not bought at Whole Foods, <laughs> but whole plant foods. The fifth reason why a raw foods diet is so beneficial is because you're massively increasing 
your consumption of some of the undoubtedly best foods, most nutritious foods on the planet, the fresh fruits and fresh vegetables, right? Most Americans don't eat enough fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. I think the standard American might eat six ounces of kale in a year, right? <laughs> I'll eat that in a day, right? My goal every day is to eat two pounds of leafy greens. So you're really ramping up your consumption of fruits and vegetables. And this is the kind of plant-based raw food diet I recommend, one that's rich in fruits and vegetables, not nut seeds and other things. The sixth reason why I believe the raw food diet works is because something I call life force energy. And in certain different cultures, it's called different things, you know, prana, uh, chi, biophotons, but this is not really even scientifically studied or proven to this extent yet. But what I believe is one of the major constituents on why raw foods works is because the foods are alive. They're still living. I mean, I could pick this lettuce. I'm sitting here in my garden. I could eat it. It's still alive. And there's energy that transfers to you, you know, that you're getting from your foods. And if you can't grow your own garden, pick your own foods fresh, you know, go to a farmer's market and, and buy the foods freshly harvested instead of, you know, shipped and sitting on a truck for two weeks because you're losing this vital life force energy. And I know some of you guys might think this is airy-fairy and I'm normally not like this, but it's true. When I eat, you know, rich life force foods, I feel more alive. And that's what we all want to feel. And I don't believe you're going to feel alive by eating processed, canned, you know, or even dehydrated raw foods as much as you will if you eat fresh things that you grew yourself in high nutrient dense soil. Or even if you can't do this, grow some sprouts and microgreens, which are known as biogenic foods some of the most valuable foods on the entire planet, foods with high life force, so you too can be full of life. The seventh reason why I believe the raw food diet works is because it's one of the most nutrient dense diets on the planet, right? The fruits and vegetables have the most nutrients, phytochemicals, you know, phytonutrients, vitamins and minerals compared to calories than anything else. And you know, just in a tomato, for example, there's over 300 different unique plant compounds that the tomato plant makes to put in the tomato and it doesn't make that for us, it makes that for the tomato plant to protect it from bugs, to, to protect it from disease, to protect it from the sun, to protect it from the wind, the rain, the sleet, the snow, well maybe not the snow, but it protects it and that's why these compounds are in there for the plant and then when we eat these plant foods, we get those protections into us. You know, so if we eat a diet rich in phytonutrients, you know, that'll help give us sun protection. Right? And this is how we should all be living with phytonutrient rich foods to have our own built in sunscreen instead of having a smear on sunscreen. I mean, what other animal on earth wears sunscreen, right? So, yeah, the plant foods, fruits, and vegetables, highest nutrition and the lowest amount of calories. Another reason why I believe raw food works. The eighth reason why I believe raw food works is because it's an alkaline centric diet, right? The standard American diet is a, the sad diet is an acid focused diet and we need to maintain a proper pH in our body and having too many acid foods it's not healthy I mean there's books on acid alkaline balance you know and and some people would think oh you just need to eat acid alkaline balance and you're gonna be healthy well that's one component of all these you know 12 components that I'm sharing with you guys today on why raw foods diet is so good but there's others you know so you can't just focus on alkalinity you can't just focus on plant-based or whole you got to do all these things to get the benefits man and that's the reason for this video so i want you guys to you know not drink alkaline water because you could buy this machine for a thousand dollars you could be alkaline no eat your leafy greens juice your leafy greens they're the richest alkaline source foods on the planet but aside from the alkalinity they have a whole host of other benefits that I co covered a little bit earlier the ninth reason why a raw food diet works in my opinion is because it's high water content. We are 70 to 75% water. And if you're not eating this percentage of water content in the foods, you're getting dehydrated. And along with dehydration, there can be many health challenges. I mean, there's a book written on the body's many cries for water, which covers that by simply drinking water, you could, you know, uh, cure, you know, or, or heal some of your ails, right? And that's why the raw food diet works, because if you're eating fruits and vegetables, they're water rich. You know, most of them, maybe except for bananas or dates or something like that, dried fruits, have more water content than us. So they share their water content with us so that we can become more juicy and be more juicy in life, right? Instead of more shriveled up and old and cross. So yeah, stay hydrated by eating your fresh fruits and vegetables that are rich in water, but of course also other 
phytonutrients and phytochemicals, vitamins and minerals. The 10th reason why I believe the raw food diet works is because you're generally eating seasonally. If your diet is centered around fresh fruits and fresh vegetables, you're gonna eat what you could get and hopefully you're shopping at farmer's markets, hopefully you're growing your own. I mean, I know my diet changes every sea, every month of the year because I'm eating whatever's in my garden, whatever's fresh, whatever's in season. That's what I'm eating. So by rotating your diet, you're gonna eat a wider diversity of foods than you would normally would have, right? And another thing you'll probably do like I have done you know, once you get tired of eating bananas and dates and romaine, <laughs> you're gonna search and see what other foods can I eat that are nutritious for me, you know? You may include seaweeds, like I started including. You may include, you know, different superfoods, you know, and, and powders and things that you normally wouldn't even grow or you ha no, have no access to, right? To increase your diversity of foods, to make eating fun because now you'll have new and different taste sensations. You'll discover new fruits that you never ate before and every different fruit or vegetable has all, a whole spectrum of phytonutrients and phytochemicals. And if you just ate McDonald's and a hamburger and a donut and Dunkin' Donuts every day, that's not a lot of variety. So, you know, I would say I get more variety in my diet than almost anybody I know. And I would encourage you guys to also strive for genetic diversity in your diet and eating different kinds of fruits and vegetables and look for new foods. And I try to cover those in my episodes. So if you're not subscribed already, click that subscribe button down below. I'll go to the trade shows and find all kinds of new foods for you guys to share with you guys so you can have new tastes and flavor sensations, but more important, new nutrients that you could add uh, to your diet as well. The 11th reason why I believe the raw foods diet is so beneficial is because we're better meeting our macronutrient needs. Macronutrients are things like protein, carbohydrates, and fats. So generally on a healthy plant-based diet, you're gonna eat a lot of carbohydrates with smaller amounts of proteins and fats. Of course, that is up to debate. I recommend a high carbohydrate, low fat diet, which in my opinion is less than 25% of your calories from fat and maybe around you know, 10%, uh, 15% of protein. And this better matches our needs. I mean, the ancient peoples, you know, that that lived in uh, different places around the world, you know, China, they ate rice, and in, in Polynesia, you know, they ate a lot of like, uh, you know, taro and, and root crops, and the Andes in South America, they ate potatoes. So, I mean, really eating a lot of carbs is really good for us, and I think it's really sad that in this uh, generation, and even many people on YouTube, focus as, carb the F up, you know, this is the number one reason why it's healthy. No, dudes, you guys need to watch this video. There's 11 other reasons why the raw food diet and even a plant-based diet works. It's encompassing this whole list that I'm sharing with you guys today. So if you are on a high carb, you know, plant-based diet, you know, op open up to some of my other reasons why raw food diet works and incorporate some of these techniques into your diet so you can become healthier, in my opinion. The 12th reason why I believe the raw foods diet is so beneficial is because you're minimizing the amount of toxins in your life. I mean, number one, the ones that you're eating directly. And more importantly, you know, if you get into this lifestyle fully besides just the diet, you know, you'll make other changes by, you know, going to natural, you know, hair care and cosmetic products and not using toxic chemical sprays and perfumes and dyes and your detergents to wash your clothes and, you know, uh, use more natural you know, what uh, furnishings and natural flooring materials in your life because things off gas and all this stuff. And we need to really minimize the amount of toxins in our life because there are already too many. We're, we're polluting this planet and we are biologic accumulators. Whether you're eating, you know, meat and animal products, they are have a lot of biologic accumulation from the toxins they eat during their lifetime. And then when, when people kill them and eat them, you're eating them. So on a plant-based raw foods diet, you're not getting those things, right? In addition, if you've gone organic, you're not gonna get the toxic you know, pesticides and even worse, uh, GMO foods and um, things like the glyphosate. Th those things are really bad news, right? And also you're not gonna get things like trans fats, which are man-made fats. These things are really terrible. I mean, I think they have warning stickers now on things like that, right? But, and they gotta have labeling. And you're not eating these kind of things. And I believe that, you know, processed foods have probably the most amount of toxins in there because man starts, you know, literally playing God. Like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take out soy protein isolate. And in my opinion, soy protein isolate is not healthy, but, whole soy foods consumed in traditional ways, like one of my favorite ways is natto, in my opinion, in 
not super large amounts every now and then, is quite healthy and it provides actually vitamin K2, which can be deficient in a vegan diet, right? And this is why, another of the main reasons why I think raw foods are so beneficial because you're minimizing the toxins, you're eating lower on the food chain, you're eating plant foods. I mean, all these reasons come together and are the reason why I believe raw foods are so beneficial. Now, of course, these reasons will also work if you put it into a even cook food paradigm. So I'm not saying you guys gotta be raw to do all these things. I want you guys to incorporate as many of these reasons into your diet as you possibly can. And the way to do that, in my opinion, is eat more fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Even if you don't go all raw, I don't care if you're not all raw. And actually, in, some, in most cases, actually, I don't recommend people to go all raw. There are benefits to doing all raw. There are benefits to not doing all raw. But the fact of the matter is clear. You wanna eat more Almost your entire diet, in my opinion, should be plant foods. And if you still think you need animal foods, eat less than 10% of your calories from animal foods. And if you eat enough plant foods and, you know, fruits and vegetables, I think you'll negate the, the risks of eating animal foods, right? I'm just trying to be honest with you. And this is my personal opinion based on what I know. Of course, I don't eat any animal foods and I eat a 99.9% .9 raw foods diet. But you have to pay attention, you have to be prudent, you have to be up on the research, you have to go to these events and listen to people and hear new things and change your approach as you're moving, as you're going on in this life journey. Always be open to change your approach, have a good foundation on what you believe in, but always be opening to listen to others. And I'm, I'm glad for people like uh, Dr. Jameis Sheridan out there, one of my mentors who I really admire and look up to, and he got me to open my eyes about this actually very topic, right, which inspired this video for you guys. So I want to encourage you guys to look up Jameth and his company, Health Force Nutritionals. They make some really good stuff, and I'll probably soon have some episodes about the stuff that they make. But yeah, there, and there's been so many other people that have helped me along in my journey, and I'm just here to help you along in your journey as well. So if you guys enjoyed this, this format, uh, please give me a thumbs up to let me know. Uh, please also comment down below how this video will change your life, what you're going to do after watching this video to improve your life, to improve your diet, to improve your health, to improve the amount of energy, to improve the weight loss, because I believe fruits and vegetables are completely the answer. So also be sure to share this video with others if you think it'll help them. Post it on your Facebook page, you know, share it on your Google Plus and all this stuff. And also be sure to click that subscribe button to be updated and notified of my new and upcoming episodes. I have episodes coming about up about every five days. You'll never know where I'm gonna show up or what I'll be teaching you guys. I have a wide diversity of friends who've been doing this a long time. I go to different trade shows and share stuff with you guys literally that you're not gonna hear anywhere else on any other YouTube channel, right? And also be sure to check my past episodes. I have a wealth of episodes, over 400 episodes now on all different aspects of raw foods. I will put a link down below to one of my videos I really like. You know, just because it's raw doesn't mean it's healthy. If you watch that video, you're gonna know more than most raw foods. Uh, most raw food is these days on know how to define a raw foods and if it's something that you really wanna eat or not because there's a lot of faux raw foods out there that I don't necessarily recommend. So uh, anyways, this is John Cooler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. Until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best. All right, this is John Cooler with OKRaw.com. Today, another exciting episode for what we're going to do today for you guys is what I eat in a day video. Now, this what I eat in a day video is just going to be showing you guys what I eat in a pretty quick style format, right? And I just want to give a disclaimer. What I eat every day.